no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net I know this is gonna shock you I know this is gonna blow your pants off And make your eyes pop out of your head Like a coked up, choked out Roger Rabbit But the truth is there are a bunch of things that the right and left wing of this country should and largely do agree upon. What? Blasphemy! Next you're gonna tell me that God doesn't exist, but if he did, he would prefer Dave Barry over Mark Twain, and he would prefer eating Marmite over hanging himself with a belt. It's not what some ideologues or the media want you to believe, but it's true. For example, you could be for the death penalty or against it, but no one should be for the execution of an innocent man. You could be pro-guns or pro-gun control, but nobody should be for shooting an unarmed person, as we're told to think with the Trayvon Martin shooting. It's like saying you, you like Penn State football, so therefore you also must support pedophilia. I like some of the plays Coach Sandusky came up with, especially on third and long, hence I will not stand here while you disparage his extreme love of children. And now in Michigan, we're seeing another issue that everybody should agree on. The governor there has instituted an emergency manager law, which allows the state to take over fiscally troubled areas and put in their own unelected emergency manager who has complete control. This has already been done in four cities. Now, you can agree with the law, or you can disagree with the law. Though if you agree with it, I would say you have the mental acuity of, let's say, oatmeal. So the people in the state of Michigan, who for some odd reason wanted to stick with a system called democracy, chose to tell the emergency manager law to go suck a big old clitoris. And they went about recalling the law by collecting hundreds of thousands of signatures. They did exactly what they needed to do. But the two Republicans on the canvassing board threw out the petitions because they claimed the font was too small. So the people of the state said they liked democracy. And two people said, you don't like it in a large enough font. You know, come to think of it, we should also throw out the Constitution because it has a bunch of ink blotches on it. And if you want the right to life and liberty, then get a ball point, motherfucker. Quick side note. Why don't they come out with ballpoint pen tops that taste like candy? I'm chewing on them anyway. Point being, you can be right wing. You can love emergency managers more than a shopping mall Santa Claus loves the fifth of bourbon he downs during his piss break. But you should still fight against the dismantling of our system of governance, the destruction of our way of life. Just like you can hate Occupy, you can despise every one of those protesters more than Jewish kids despise the shopping mall Santa Claus. But you should still demand Occupy protesters have their freedom of speech because it affects your rights too. If you were getting pepper sprayed at your rallies against healthcare and evolution, gays and education, I would be the first to defend your right to protest, even if I thought you had the intelligence of, let's say, flan. You see, the corporate talking heads on TV want you to believe there are two sides to every news story. There aren't always. We should all stand for the right of the people of Michigan to recall a law if they so choose. And to the board of canvassers, I know you don't like small printing. So let me say this last part in all caps. Go f faces. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.